Mboeza. Let's see how it turns out. I've thrown everything together, yeah. So there's beans, meat, uh, garlic, onions, carrots, pepper, because I love pepper. Yeah, that's about it. You're sorted for the whole cake. Oh, and potatoes, yeah, and meat, yeah. So. Kishash kishash kobash. <laughs> Guys, in a slap. I came vizuri to the eye, but in a term vizuri. This tumboa will be a thing in this house. Can you see me? Or do I look as though I'm in a jail? It's on the grills. It's us. Uh, is it 8:35 a.m.? So today is on Sunday, the 12th of February. It's still very early in the morning, so most probably. But those just cash caradams flow, yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm at my rooftop. Then. I feel so blessed to be in this position. I'm just like, oh my goodness, God, thank you so, so, so much. In as much as I've been feeling fear here and there, but I've been telling myself I'm going to be okay, yeah. So I've decided to come, I get some vitamin D, then Today I just wanted to be about relaxing then I'll, I'll mark my students' work in the afternoon I guess here yeah, because I want the week to, be, to begin when I've relaxed fully yeah. Otherwise guys, how are you, how are you, how are you, how are you? If you are watching, if you are still watching my vlog, thank you so much for each and every person who has been supporting me guys i'm so grateful uh you know i've been a little bit busy then i'm not usually into looking checking my youtube but the likes comments because for the longest time i used to do like that and i used to end up being kind of low-key heartbroken because i'm like oh my god they're not even leaving a comment people are not viewing my work but so easy, i'm like those who are meant to see they'll see it yeah so it's not for everyone and it's okay yeah so i was so shocked the other day you guys the love that you showed me on my studio apartment tour oh my goodness thank you so much thank you thank you thank you guys yani i pray also god nini pass you by this year this is the year this is the year of hope don't give up on hope Meskia, yeah if god did it for me he can do it for literally anyone yeah hope you've had a lovely sunday mine it's going to be a chill beautiful sunday that is one thing i know for sure so see you later sundays sundays are for making sure the week runs smoothly so i want to fold these clothes then as i told you earlier on i look at a few of my students um work then prepare my lessons for tomorrow then yeah i also have to do general cleaning of my body yani <laughs> it's about time i need to clean up some areas <laughs> yeah so i also need that i also need to nene, undo this uh, nail polish and do a fresh set here yeah, so i can maybe do a mini whatever for myself i mean self care but size ni sasa bana nusu so sijui penye hiyo time itatoka cuz today i also have to i'm going to my sisters for dinner so sijui let's see tutajitahidi <laughs> anyway guys 
Mkotun mepitia kuonyesha. It's time to fold my clothes. Hop. Ukopoa. Hop ukopoa. Have you checked in with yourself? Ask yourself, how are you? Ask yourself, ukoaje. Because you know, the most important person in this equation, it's you. Yeah, so make sure you're good. Especially when you start up the week, you can always purpose for Sundays to be days of self-care, doing like the least, yeah. That is what I want to eventually get to because size bado. <laughs> I don't know. I try resting. I try. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, it is what it is. You have to do whatever you have to do. Yeah. See you later. Love you. The house looks functionable enough it's not the cutest thing but for now it will work as we wait here i think i feel hot any hot feel but i'm like nini it's been so long since kitukayo in kasirisha so i'm like hey i need to calm down maybe i am overwhelmed and i don't know because hey I need to just relax. Yeah, I need to relax. The main goal to lay today is to sleep early. Yeah, because obviously tomorrow I'll wake up early. So let me get into grading my students' assignments. I'm a teacher, guys, in case you didn't know. My name is Joshua, and today I basically wanted to share how Between My Shame name came, especially for people who this is the first time that they're interacting, interacting with this uh, channel, channel, Kariboni Kariboni. Let me first say thank you to each and every person who has subscribed. Thank you to each and every person who usually take time to watch our, my, our YouTube videos. We know time is money, so we don't take that for granted. For those who have not subscribed, I promise you, this is a worthy investment. Subscribe and the, if there is something about this channel, there is always something to come out with there. Yeah. So, you might as well do it because it's free, it's free. Imagine, bure. Where do you get free things? <laughs> so this is a nice place to be at here. Yeah. So anyway, guys. So the name Beauty in My Shame uh, come from, came from. So I found out about my HIV status two years ago. It was quite a devastating moment, and my experience with the whole finding out process was filled with shame. The way the doctors were handling things, because the first thing that I was advised was you don't have to share it with anyone. Nini, you can just live, be, live your life without telling anyone. So to me, I now I understand why they were telling me that. Because first of all, I found out about it when I was in Kisi. One thing Kisi is known about it has a high rate of HIV infection, and there is also a lot of shame and stigma attached to living with HIV. So I totally, completely uh, now, and then I did not get why, but now I get why that was their first solution. So. Um, when the doctors were telling me that, in my mind I was like, no, why, why, why? In my on my mind I was just like, no, why is there shame and stigma attached to living with HIV? I'm like, there's nothing wrong with living with it. Okay, yes, it has already happened. So what will you do? The best thing that you can do first is focus on your ARVs before after thinking about how you'll be hiding them, how who. The first thing is that you need to adhere to the ARVs because in real sense, they are very important, yeah, so they help in fighting um, the virus, yeah, so when you find out about your HIV status, even though I wouldn't wish a lifetime taking of medication to anyone, but I'm like, if it happens to you, 
you cannot kill yourself you cannot die the best you can do is just pick yourself up and be graceful enough to understand that each journey is different today you might feel extremely empowered ready to conquer the world but the next day you don't want even to wake up because you're like maybe this is a dream and i'm about to come of it out of it out of it so the cheat code is also to the cheat cheat code is to just give yourself some grace and yeah slowly by slowly you'll get to that place but you have to put in work see semi two i'll be okay and everything that you're doing it's not you're not moving as if you'll be okay things like adhering to your airways yeah so keeping off stress so this is the time that i really kept off stress guys let me get back to <laughs> What I was saying, because I easily get distracted with other stories here. Yeah, so, like I was saying, so during that time, I was like, no, I need to form a movement of other. Then, by then, it was young women, young need to know that there's still life after living with HIV. There is beauty in my shame. Because let me tell you guys, me finding out about my HIV status, that. That, that news really empowered me. Yani it gave me the strength to fight for everything because in my mind I was like, oh my God, this is my last chance here. Yeah. I don't want to die when I have not fulfilled my purpose. So it's just like, I will go after everything that anyone ever said I will not ever have. I will, I will form a movement of young women who will be confident in their HIV status. Yani but just that in that place of I want to fight, I want to fight, I want to fight, I want to fight, yeah. So that is how the name Beauty Mission came. There is beauty in whatever we struggle in. Even though some things, uh, the community, most of the things that the community label shameful, guys, it's not usually shame, like, at you, you get someone like, oh, I'm not comfortable with being, f for example, fat, because that is not the standard of beauty in the eye. My friend, do you? People don't care whether you're fat, thin, thin. Everyone is just beautiful. Then one thing I've come to discover is to discover is that beauty, not as much as beauty is outside and all that, but the real beauty is someone's heart. How is this person? How do they treat people around them? How do they carry themselves? How do they love on themselves? That that to me, that to me has been the real discovery. I know that is what real beauty is. But you can say whatever here beauty na enhance you wanga na to shilingi so having money is also a plus to beauty. Yeah. <laughs> so that's about it. Uh, I just realized I did not officially welcome you to the mini to the vlog um, before the video that I had shot for the introduction man, I didn't like the lighting so I was like maybe you can reshoot here yeah. so for those who are here thank you so much for your support so this channel is all about positive living figuring the beauty of whatever is considered shameful it's not only for people living with HIV you know it's for you can always find a lesson or two here and there yeah so if you are here don't feel lost feel at home you're welcome you're welcome i love you for your support don't forget to plug your circles yeah this is a worthy investment guys welcome love you hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog yeah welcome to my bathroom guys welcome <laughs> These tiny little blessings that you used to take for granted. Yani, hey. Yani, I'm so grateful for this house. Because I remember in the other house, eh, hey, the other house, we used to live like a rat, you guys. <laughs> so, that my sink there was a multi purpose sink. Yani, anything goes. Rushing my tea there, because. I was like, I'd rather brush my teeth on my sink than go brush my teeth on the in the toilet. Oh, no, 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 no. So, guys, I'll just come here to say, today I'm grateful for 
my bathroom may it become better may i yani i'll ensure i decorate it ile hadi nikiwa hapa ninasikia tu niko mahali tu heaven or something yeah so i'm just giving myself time let me see what the next six months has in store for us what are you grateful for what is the one thing that you used to take for granted kitambo but squeeze you cause leza hey god thank you i understand me let me i start a bathroom is one of them yeah having this ha huh, i'm even excited for menstruation cause I used to hate being on my periods and living in the other house, guys. Oh my goodness. Just know it was a messy situation. Then I mean, my prayer goes out to each and every girl, woman who lives I mean, in an informal settlement. They cannot afford basic things like a uh, functional washroom, toilet, I mean, the one that has sanitary. Uh, a pad dustbin yeah do you get what i'm saying yeah so even the first thing i bought when i got into this house was a bathroom dustbin guys the first thing this one was like this is very important but otherwise guys come up this is the end of the vlog because i wanted it to be weekend vlog I'm wishing you a lovely blessed week. Go do your best here. Yeah. Fanya your best. It doesn't your best does not have to make sense to other people, but alone I lower your best. That is all that matters, right? And put God first. Guys, bye.